Hi, this is JD Nyland, Product Manager for Site Catalyst. In this video, I would like to show you how to add a report to one of the new dashboards. If I go over to the video menu and run the video views report, I can add that report to a dashboard by clicking on this Add to Dashboard icon. I'm now presented with an option to change the report title and then by clicking on this drop down I can choose to add it to the dashboard that we've been working with or I can create a new dashboard. Notice that I'm also presented with the option to add it to a legacy dashboard that was created prior to SiteCatalyst version 14.7 or even create a legacy dashboard if that's the format that I choose to use. For the sake of this demo, I'd like to add it to the dashboard that we've been working with. So I'll add it to the JJ Esquire Marketing April 2010 dashboard and we'll leave the rolling dates as default. So I'm going to go ahead and create that report and I can now go directly to that dashboard by clicking on this link that says JJ Esquire Marketing April 2010. Notice that the report is not automatically added to the dashboard. And so if I want to add that report to the dashboard, I'm going to go find a blank page and I'll open that up. And then I will go and look in the added content bin and this is where the report has been placed as a reportlet. And so now I can take the video views reportlet and I can just simply drag and drop it onto the template and expand that out and now my reportlet is added to my dashboard.